Hey everyone, it's Harry Frankfurt, and you can probably tell that I've been crying. Um, I am trying to date, and I hate it. Uh, as you guys know from my last video, I mentioned that I got on Tinder. <laughs> um, and I got back from a date last night that went so wrong, so wrong, on so many levels. And I'm realizing that I have no real boundaries and no self-esteem. And really low standards, I guess. Um, so let me just run you through, you know, my experience so far. I met one guy that I really liked, and we kind of got along, and I thought that it was mutual, and then we slept together, and hey, haven't really seen him since. <laughs> Um, I met with another guy that I just didn't like and he bored me so afterwards he messaged me being like hey I had a great time and I was like hey you're great no but I had to do it over text because I can't say that in person and then the guy that I went on I guess a date with last night was a similar experience we met and I just didn't feel it and I didn't I felt bad because it felt like he liked me and I hate that <laughs> like I genuinely hate it um, so I was talking to my friend and she was just kind of like no go on a second date because you're not gonna love them on the first time you meet like you gotta just give it a chance and I didn't want to but I did and it was just so uncomfortable and I, I I know it sounds terrible but I've tried to like like without saying because I didn't want to make him upset so I would like say controversial things that I thought would upset him and make him realize that I'm not compatible with him and I like changed the subject and trauma dumped and like tried to just be inflammatory on purpose so that I could get him to realize that we're just not gonna fucking work out like fundamentally different views philosophically completely different people um it did not work <laughs> and uh he offered to give me a lift home because he's already done that before so he knows where I live and I was like cool but then he just drives me to a completely different place without asking if that was okay and he holds my hand without asking if that's okay which like I don't know if I wanted him to ask but I wasn't okay with it so then when he did it and said is this too much I couldn't say no and then we get to this place that he wanted to take me which was probably super romantic and super sweet and I fucking hate that and he tries to kiss me and I just freeze and take it and then he's like that was the most awkward kiss in the world and I was like yeah sorry I don't know what the fuck I'm doing because I couldn't tell him that like I don't want to kiss you just please take me home and then he did and he's like, what's going on? And I could tell that I'd hurt his feelings and I just didn't know how to be like, yeah, I, anyway, the point is, I, I feel bad because now I'm going to do it over text, but I don't owe this guy anything. Like I don't know him anyway. I do not know, like, I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do, 
Because like... I don't think, um... I don't think I'm gonna find anyone. And I guess that's cool. And I, I do not want to have to go through the process of learning how to date just to find someone. Because it is really uncomfortable for me. And I, I don't know why I'm trying. And I do not know how to learn how to be okay with all of the things or how to like get a backbone and learn how to say no um and I just I I just I, I don't know it just seems too scary and the world is fucking terrifying um Oh, and so obviously the uh, one single peck before he took me home wasn't enough and he asked me to explain myself on the drive back to my place, so I did and, you know, he, he even gave me a fucking out and he was like, I just, it seems like you're not feeling it. And like, I, I don't know if I was or not. I don't know what I'm supposed to be feeling on a date. Um... So I was kind of like, no, I just don't know what I'm doing, and I, like, I gave the answer that seemed like it was correct, probably because I went to my brain instead of just being honest, which was that, like, nah, I'm not. But we get back to my place, and he's like, let's try again, and I'm like, fuck. So then I reciprocated, and I was like, this is just shit, and I didn't like it, and I didn't want to. But I did it to placate him, so I could be like, now just please let me go home, so I can sleep. So I can never message you again, or I send like a message in the morning and be like, hey, that was really like great, but no. I just feel like I have lost at a lot of things, you know? Like, there's no winners, but... But I've lost, you know? So, um... Sorry for the vulnerable video, but if you know <laughs> how to do this, that'd be nice. Um... I feel like uninstalling Tinder because it's clearly not working, but it kind of just makes me feel good about myself to think that, no, actually it doesn't. It makes me feel like shit that people just want me for my body and that, you know, people will say whatever the fuck they can to get in my pants or to get what they want. And I don't have the backbone to not let it happen, so... So maybe I should just uninstall and go back to trying to flirt with people in the real world. Um, cause yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I should not have done that. Um, shortest time on Tinder. I can't even remember when I installed, but I think it was just before Christmas, or just after Christmas, or I don't know. And now it's what, January 4th? Yeah, very, uh, very funny joke, I guess. So. If you have any tips on, like, <laughs> how to date, um, or, like, how to get a backbone, or, uh, how to, like, where to buy self-esteem, <laughs> um, 
Because I don't get self-esteem from compliments. I get self-esteem from doing well or being strong. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I just don't know. And I don't want to put anyone out by dating them. And it's pretty telling that that's my way of uh, phrasing that. So. Maybe I just want. Um. Yeah. I know this isn't therapy, so I should stop talking. Uh, but I thought I would share that hilarious story with you. And kind of make this as a, um, you know, video to let you guys know that you don't have to date. Um, and if you're on an uncomfortable date, uh, don't do what I do. Just fucking say no and get out of there. And yeah, look after yourself. Um, I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye. Uh.